Hi, welcome to a session of air engine research. Uh, today I'm going to do a short video to bring you up to date with what I am doing right now and what will be happening over the next months. Um, I have some pictures and some videos to show you in a few minutes, but first I wanted to let you know that I, I have started a GoFundMe account and it's at Air Engine Research at the uh, GoFundMe.com. And uh, what that's for is to hopefully help to get some help with uh, machining costs on the parts that I have for the upgraded version of my air engine. The uh, prototype that I have used on my little lawnmower vehicle that I'll show you in a little bit, <clears throat> it only had three cylinders and I think it was only 12 inches in diameter. The uh, final version is going to be 17 and a half inches diameter and about 12 inches thick. Um, it has six cylinders. Three of them are going to be normally running and it can get up the other three started if you need for extra power. But the uh, GoFundMe account is for like I said, purchasing a high storage pressure tank for the uh, for the vehicle, and I need a, a four stage high pressure compressor to get the tank up to 6,000 psi and the volume that is needed to fill the tank. Uh, now the engine it has 17 bearings, and it does not need any oil or any coolant or anything to run and it does use compressed air from a main storage tank at 6,000 psi and that's reduced down to 125 to maybe 150 175 psi depending on what you need to to move the vehicle but based on 125 I should get hopefully between 70 and 100 miles trip time uh, I'm currently working on getting um, some parts machined and finding out what the costs are going to be. So over the next few months, that's what I'm going to be working on and then actually building the engine to put into my, my truck. But in the meantime, I've got some pictures that I want to show you here about the engine itself. Uh, this is a side view of it. I mean, it doesn't really look like this when you look at it from the top, but it's got six cylinders and it's got two plates in the center that that are rotated by the pistons which are blue in those cylinders on each side in the center of the sides and uh, this is some of the parts that are going to go into it this is a a valve top that fits on top of the cylinder to direct the air into the cylinder when it's needed. And this is a, a shaft ring that's supposed to go on the drive shaft on the top and the bottom to uh, support the bearings. And this is a pin that goes in the connecting rod, I guess you would call it, that that these piston pushes the connecting rod and this pin goes into a bearing that goes into a circular disc that's offset which makes the engine rotate. Uh, this is a valve slider that goes with that plate over on the upper right side of the screen. Uh, this is a copy of the actual engine itself, and I'll let it run for you. That was 
running at 125 PSI and about 1900 RPMs. The uh, next thing that I did was I, I had the engine mounted on my little test vehicle which was an old lawnmower body and I put car wheels on it so that you can see how fast they turn. It takes 813 RPMs of the tire to go one mile and I think you'll see that it's it's going pretty fast. thing that I did was I took my vehicle and I mounted a propane tank and a little homemade trailer to pull behind my test vehicle and this is what I did with that. have any transmission or anything in this test vehicle. It's a direct drive so whatever power it, it needs it, it has to put it directly to the wheel. Uh, over the next year probably I'll be working on this and hopefully I will be able to get some help with funding to to pay for what I need to have done. If you would care to donate, I would be happy. And if you care to subscribe to my uh, YouTube account, you'll be kept up to date to see what's going on with, with my air engine research. So until I either see you next time or until you decide 